Anyway, on this cold, dark day in January, group of witnesses are going out, go to the door. And one of the witness women in the group decides she wants to go to one last house in the neighborhood. This house appears to be abandoned, but she's had an outside of this house. She gets up to the door, gives it a knock. But there's no answer. So she knocks again. Still no answer. So she knocks one more time. The door slowly opens to reveal a baby and a bassinet crying. Now her being a woman is some type of baby decides she's gotta not only physically save the child, but she's gotta save the soul as well. That baby was me. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, I miss that old man in the house. <laughs> Great voice. So yeah, I was raised Jehovah's Witness. So it was just a matter of time before I developed anxiety issues. <laughs> my anxiety comes from people being nice to my face. But as soon as I leave, my brain convinces me that they talk shit about how annoying and awful I am. <laughs> or maybe it came from the birthday card my parents got me when I was 10. It's a... Uh, you're annoying and awful, and everyone talks shit about you when you leave. <laughs> That's my life. No lie, I once had a best friend tell me, you have a face that makes people want to slap it. So I've always had this fear that people might not like me or my face. But now I just embrace it. So uh, you can catch me out there after the show, my slapping booth. $5 for a slap, 750 for a slap, and saw a combo. But before I get out of here, can I talk about rice for a minute? You guys want to talk about rice? So rice, it's inherently dry. Even when you add moisture to it, it becomes sticky. Which when you think about it, is just wet dryness. That's not a joke, I just like talking about rice. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of rice, have you ever noticed how dry it is? Like even when you add moisture to it, it just gets sticky. Which when you think about it, it's just wet dryness. <laughs> sticky, it's wet dryness. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of rice, Love rice, don't you? While we're on the topic of rice, have you ever noticed how dry it is? <laughs> like even when you have moisture to it, it just becomes sticky. And I've thought about it a lot. That's just wet dryness. This is a joke about rice and a foreshadow my jokes. Both tend to be very dry. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of rice, I got a few things I like to say about it. Brown rice specifically. Do you think brown rice feels like it's brown rice? Or do you think it just feels like slightly darker white rice? Do you think brown rice gets pulled over by the cops exponentially more than white rice? Do you think there's ever been a rogue grain of brown rice that got mixed into the white rice box at the rice sorting plant? And all the way up to its consumption date, it's heard. Oh, you're not like other grains of rice. You're a good green. <laughs> or, you're the whitest grain of brown rice I've ever seen. <laughs> no? You don't think that's ever happened? <laughs> Me either. That'd be unfortunate if someone or something had to hear that their entire existence. <laughs> Thank you. I'm brown rice. <laughs> For brown rice, everybody. Good to have them here. There you go. You clap, you make a fun new comedy again. That's always good. Uh, I wish I had that when I did comedy. I was told to go fuck myself. And now, and now look at me now.